This video is going to be a little tutorial on how to create forged iron. Now I'm going to start this off with the notion that maybe you don't have a forge yet and I'm going to show how to get a forge as well. Um, if you already know all of those steps then I'll add an annotation and you can just click on that. It'll skip ahead to how to actually acquire forged iron. So to start this off, to get the forge, one of the first things you're going to have to do is kill an animal of some sort and harvest it for some animal hides. Now most likely you'll have a bow. I chose to use a crossbow as it's a little easier to aim. There we go. Finally got him. So I'm just going to speed up and so you want to hunt some animals whether that be a, a deer, pig or a rabbit. However deers or deer seems to give the most hides. So you want to harvest these like so. Um, you can hunt a bear but if you don't have a forge, most likely you won't be able to take them on, or it will be extremely difficult. Mm, well, there is a little uh, tricky way <laughs> that you can hunt a bear. You can build five up with a wood frame. somehow I usually have to do two at a time and build a little ramp or whatever you want to call it outside like this a little tricky to do sometimes and you're gonna want to build a fair ways away uh, don't exceed six blocks away from your support though otherwise you will fall down <laughs> so you can do it like this and just camp out on top of this perch here. It's going to take quite a bit of effort, however. You really don't want to fall down either, otherwise it's probably a guaranteed death. So as you can tell, this is quite a long and arduous process. And I really suggest not doing it. That was about 20 crossbow bolts or so. Oh, I forgot my leg was broken. Oh well. So, after you... If you do decide to try and take on a bear with this method, after you spend 30 minutes doing so, you can harvest them for hides as well. They obviously give quite a bit more, if I recall correctly. I should have looked at how many I had. So yeah, there we go. I got quite a bit. So now that you know how to get animal hides, the reason you'll need them is you're gonna need, oh, you're also gonna need to find one short iron pipe, which can be found in most loot containers like trash piles, boxes. Uh, you can pull apart cars or air conditioners with a wrench. Um, you can find these pretty commonly. So you'll need one short iron pipe, 20 animal hides, and eight wood in order to make a bellows. And I'll just show you that here. So eight wood, 20 animal hides, and one short iron pipe. And you'll also need 50 small stones 50 lumps of clay, the bellows that you just made, and a short iron pipe in order to actually make the forge. And clay can be found on the map fairly easily. So in the savanna biome, it's like uh, a dark, almost copper color. And here's another clay deposit. Here's more clay and some clay right here. 
These dark brown spots are just dirt. So there's half clay, half dirt there. If we were to go into the forest region here, you can tell where clay is pretty easily. It's this, these large areas here. And the same goes for the pine forest as well. You can, you can mostly spot it like so. I don't really see any in the burnt forest here. Thought maybe that was some there. So you might not have any luck finding it there. I mean, if you dig down a bit, you might find some underneath the surface. And it looks pretty difficult to see in the wasteland area as well. But I think this right here is either clay or dirt. It's one of the two. But in the other regions, it's pretty easy to spot. So, um, let's check to see if I can find any in the desert. I'm pretty sure these are clay deposits here, these darker spots. I could be wrong about that though, so you want to check it out. And there's a whole bunch of clay that I can spot in the forest regions here. There's a lot of it. And I don't think you'll find any on the surface in the snow biome either. You may find some if you dig down, but on the surface it doesn't look like it. There might be some there, but I'm not sure to be honest. Most of the time I find it in the savanna or one of the forest regions. So, you could hit clay with a stone axe. However, you're going to be better off using a shovel. So if you don't have a forge yet, you're going to be wanting to make a stone shovel, which you can see is a lot quicker at digging up dirt than the stone axe. I have a really high level in mining tools, so that may also be a factor as well. But generally speaking, you're going to want to use a shovel. So once you've found 50 clay or more, you will be needing more clay in order to make things out of the forge, so keep that in mind. Then you're going to want to find some stones. Now you could waste your time and pick up the small stones on the ground, but most of the time I find it to be much faster and much more beneficial to attack these boulders. So as you've seen, they break down three times, and while destroying it, I also gained 45 iron, which you're going to need to make forged iron as well. So once you got 50 of those, you got your clay, and your, your bellows, and your short iron pipe, you're able to make a forge. Um, another thing I want to note is while looking for iron, if you are mining, you can also find it in uh, caves or far down in the surface as random veins. I don't have any around me that I can show you right now, but I can show you what it looks like. So it's a little hard to spot, but when you're down in the mines, you will be able to tell the difference between stone and iron, for the most part anyways. It takes a little bit to get used to, but hopefully that showed you what it looked like. You will also find uh, potassium nitrate and coal, which will be great for making gunpowder. Sorry, it's just called nitrate now. <laughs> I keep forgetting that. Uh, you'll find nitrate and coal, which will be useful for creating gunpowder. And you'll also find lead, which will... You'll need to get a bunch of that in order to make bullet tips. So here's just another example of some iron. It's really... You can't really tell the difference the way that I'm looking at it here. But it'll look different than this when you find it underground. And it also has a shiny luster to it versus the stone. So once you get the hang of it, you should be able to spot it. 
Okay, so now that you've made a forge and you put it down somewhere that you won't be moving it anytime soon because if you destroy it, everything you put in here will be lost. So, the first thing you'll be able to make with the forge is going to be forged iron. Um, you're going to need level 40 in construction tools in order to get the perk for forged steel. And I'll just show you that here quickly if I can find it. There it is. Construction tools level 40 as well as an extra 10 points to buy that perk. But it's recommended to get concrete mixing before you get steel smithing. As you're going to want to make a very solid base uh, if you're going to be doing a lot of forging. Alright, so if we go in here and look for forged iron it will tell you that you need 10 iron and 5 clay in order to make them. But even if you have it in your inventory here, um, that doesn't count. They all have to be inside your forge. So you have two slots here in order to put items. Any of those items could be iron, brass, lead, glass, stone, or clay. And in order to actually get them in your forge, so you can use a number of things like wood or coal. I prefer to use wood since I would rather have coal for gunpowder. And as soon as you turn on your forge, it will start burning these items or smelting them and putting them into your forge. So once you have the required amount of materials, uh, 10 iron and 5 clay for each one of these, then you can start making your forged iron. So that was pretty much just a quick little tutorial on how to make forged iron. Um, I'm going to be working on a complete forged tutorial at some point. However, until then I will leave you with brass items and lead items and glass and stone all function pretty much the same way. So if you wanted to make something with stone you'd gather your small stones and put it into one of these slots and just make sure that your fire is burning for it to eventually go into the forge and you can start using the materials like so. And I also did a little video showing that forging raw forms of brass and lead items prove to be much more beneficial than scrapping them. I'll put a link as an annotation. I said I was going to test out whether or not these would drop after destroying the forge. I'm going to test it out in two ways. One, there's a couple of items inside the forge as well as lumps of clay in the output slot. That's going to take a while. So yeah, it still is in effect that if you destroy your forge, you will lose absolutely everything, even if it was in the output slot. However, if you want to get any of these items out, all you have to do is find the material that you want to get out inside the forge menu here. There's brass. We'll go in order here. So you can smelt iron. Of course, the forge needs to be on in order for this to work, and you need to have items in there as well. And you can smelt out brass, lead, doesn't look like there's one for glass, but you can smelt broken glass if you want. So yeah, I guess, <laughs> thanks Thunder. I guess glass will be the one that you want to use for that. You can get small stones back out as well. And lumps of clay. So just something to keep in mind if you ever need to move that. Which hopefully you don't have to. And if you have any questions or comments make sure to leave them down below. Uh, if you liked the video or if it helped you out make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome tutorials. Bye bye.